So it is Monday and it is the end of the day. I did not vlog anything this morning. Um, <clears throat> so it is the end of the day. I was going to erase my whiteboard and um, make our new little message for the morning. But I wanted to show you guys what I did this morning because I thought it came out kind of cute. So <clears throat> we have almost like a school theme. So every year we come up with a different theme. And last year our theme was Make It Counts. So I did Make It Count Monday, write a goal that you have for the week. Um, so some of them said listen to, the, to your teacher. Um, I wanna be quiet in the hallway. I will get my work done, being a good friend. Just things that they need to work on individually. And y'all, this is kindergarten. I mean, I was so impressed with some of the things they came out, came out with. And I thought the board overall just came really cute so I wanted to show you guys that so uh, tomorrow is Tuesday and by the way this is not my idea like the make it count part was my idea but the whole whiteboard thing that is totally not my idea um, I told you guys in the last vlog that I did for frogs that miss fifth who is on Instagram and she is absolutely phenomenal she does um, all the whiteboard ideas and if you like do the hashtag miss fifth whiteboards a lot of them will pull up just from like other teachers too which are really they're so cool so I really like it I wouldn't be able to do this in kindergarten like in the beginning of the year but I could definitely do it you know my last nine weeks because at that point you know kids are just able to write so much more they're able to do so much more and they're really starting to kind of think a little bit more so yes um my lights are off I like to work with my lights off so that is my board I'm going to erase it and create a new one um, <clears throat> not quite sure what I want to do yet I haven't quite thought about it I haven't thought about it so um, I just got my room pretty much cleaned up for the day so somebody told me like somebody in my um, I put up a planning video y'all these planning videos are so long and I am so sorry like my, and my husband makes fun of me because he goes, Bridget, you like watching long videos? And I do, but I put it on like as the background because like I said, and I told you guys this too, like we don't have cable at my, our house. Like we don't have cable or we don't do a lot of TV. Um, so YouTube is my form of entertainment. <laughs> so um, for my planning video, somebody put down um, if I do paper, because at one point, like I think for my Valentine's Day one, I did it on my, my planner. And then for this last one, I used planbook.com, which I told you guys I moved to planbook.com. But I still kind of do both. And, and I got this idea from another teacher too. So what I do is I plan out everything on planbook.com, but then in the afternoon, what I do, woo, sorry. But then in the afternoon, what I do is I sit down and I write out kind of my plan for tomorrow. So like certain things didn't get done because we had extra practice for um, a performance that we're doing. So like this didn't get it finished. So I had to move some of this here. So yeah, so this is what I do. And then this is what I go off of the next day, the next day. So yes, hope that answers your question. I hope you guys are having a really great week. I have a very busy week. Um, and I may tell you guys about it. I'm not really sure yet. So um, I'm not going to be here for two and a half days this week, which is kind of crazy. So I'm planning for subs. So, and this is really bothering me. And I might have to go get this fixed because I can't handle it. Um, I have these little baskets, which are great. So I've been, oh, I'm about to sneeze. Okay. So I have, what I did was I created my lesson plan my sub plans here and now I'm just going through and putting everything inside of this basket so then I'm going to label the basket for the day so I have Wednesday Thursday and Friday so Wednesday is just a half a day for me and then um, I have to leave and then Thursday and Friday I'm gonna be gone the entire time so I'm getting ready for my subs which is so much work y'all like I sometimes I forget about you know sometimes it's just better for me to just stay because I just don't like planning for subs it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Um, but yeah, I am probably going to go get another basket because that really irritates me. And I'm going to do some other things and I'll show you guys what I'm doing a little bit later on. I am super comfy today <clears throat> and I have to show you guys my outfit and I don't think I usually do this, but I'm going to show it to you guys anyways. You probably don't care, but whatever. So, um, I have this shirt that says 
um, will work for coffee off of Nordstrom.com. I buy everything online because it's just so much easier. Um, this is a little locket my mom gave me when my first son was born. It has his picture in it. So I keep that. Um, and then I have, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I have this like long skirt dress. Actually, it's a dress. So it's a big dress and I got it from J. Crew a few years back. And um, so I just put it over it and it just makes a really nice comfy outfit. This was, Bridget was lazy, didn't want to get up. Actually, I hit the alarm one time the second time my alarm went off this morning, I woke up and started hitting my husband on the back and asked him what day it was because I was convinced that it was still Sunday and I had another day and I didn't have to get up. I am the worst person when it comes to me getting up, but once I'm up, <laughs> I'm fine. It's just getting me to that point where I just don't want to get up. So I can literally lay all day in bed and I'd be totally okay with that. Anyways, so a lot of rambling and I've probably rambled for about four or five minutes. So, yes, I will show you guys some other things that we're doing. So the um, the plans that I'm doing, you guys have them. Um, so you can kind of see all of the things that have taken place from my lesson plans that I did because I did the plan with me and I will leave a link somewhere um, for that so you can watch how I created my lesson plans. And then, um, you guys can see all the things that I did and how I implemented it. So a little things are gonna get switched up here and there because when I did my plans, I didn't realize that I was gonna have to be out for two and a half days. So I'm gonna have to kind of change up a few things because I don't really want the big, huge projects being done with my subs. I wanna make sure that my students are doing them correctly. So yeah, but I will be in touch with you guys and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, so it is Sunday. I am back from Pennsylvania and I did not vlog at all. I did take my camera, but I didn't vlog while I was there. Um, but it was a good few days and I am back and I'm excited to be back at school. So I have been here just pretty much cleaning up and getting things ready for tomorrow, um, for next week. We have kindergarten performances um, at the end of the week. So we're gonna be practicing a lot with that um, pretty much all week long. Now, I also didn't get to finish my project-based learning, so I will be finishing that next week, and the kids are going to be working that during writing and reading and some of the afternoon time, depending on how much time we have in between our um, performance practice. So I am cleaning up a few things, putting up some books, and I'm going to show you guys, like, these are some of the books that, um, these are like our Harcourt books that we use. Um, and I store them in these little containers. Now, some of these are lasted, like when I first made these, I just wrote them on an index card, um, and then some of them have fallen off, so I have to put them back. But the way that I organize them is that each of these goes by, oops, focus. Each of these goes by a lesson, so it tells you the lesson number, and then I organize it by lessons here. So I organize it by lessons here. So like this one's 13, then I know I would have to find uh, 13 back here. So that's 15, this is 13. Um, and so all the different levels are in there too. Um, ah. So I have from the easiest to the hardest, so I could just pick up all of those and um, use them for that lesson. So that's what I'm doing right now um I also have to start planning for Mother's Day so I'm going to show you a few things once I pull once I pull for Mother's Day actually I can do that pretty now pretty much now but I have to start planning for Mother's Day because that's that type of stuff takes a little bit and it's hard um to get it in between all the other stuff that I'm doing so Mother's Day I don't really have much in this binder it doesn't feel very heavy so I am pulling some things for Mother's Day what did we do oh I did this one last year so here's what it looks like a pretty flower that you see um oops 
A pretty flower that you see was made for you by me. My finger made the flower part, showing love with all my heart. And then I would have to go on my computer and just change that. But then on the other side, so like it was their fingers, so they had their fingers and then their thumbs was the petals. It was really cute actually. Um, and then they had to write five things about my mom. So they would write their five things. And then we had little bags that said, mom, let's talk. And there were just like little questions that they got to pull out and do that. Um, I also had, whoops. I also had these little cards. So it looked like this. So it was placed like that. And I showed them how to make their little pockets for their cards um, and then this was all glued onto a mat so it was one side was this little poem the other side was this here and I laminated it and it had it on there so because we do like a breakfast in the morning for them so then they come and have that oh is this one it yep here's one. Oh, but I changed it so one year I did this and I didn't care for it too much because it was too difficult for my kids so it's like this minus with the other portion and it's laminated too so when they go to their child's table like they see all of this it's really cute comes out very nice so they get little flowers and they have a little flower on their mat and they get a little bag too like we make bags for them as well so I might have to go and get some of those bags pretty soon um, so yeah I'm planning out my Mother's Day thing, so yeah, it'll be this one, Five Things About My Mom, which was turned out way better last year. My subs were really nice and they didn't leave me a huge mess. Actually, this is what my sub stuff looked like too. So I had them inside of these little containers because I was gone for actually two and a half days. Um, so one of these was only half a day, but the other two were inside of these, which is so nice because I just pretty much laid it out in front of my table. And so the subs knew, like, the lesson plans were right on top when they came in, and they could just pull everything out, which was really, really nice. Makes life a little bit easier, but I cleaned up some of this area back here, too, because I had a bunch of stuff that was down here, which I was so proud about. So, I need to make more coupons. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen coupons this way, but I made some that were, oops, I'm trying to, I made some that were a little bit skinnier so that I could um, organize them in this way and it makes life so much easier to do it like this too because I can just pull the box out and my kids um, will grab their coupon so and then a lot of the times like the ones that they give me back I can just reuse them because there's nothing wrong with them um, this is show and tell I guess I don't have a show and tell ready nope so I had to put some of these things back Lunch date pop, my tunes, head head. Oh look, there's two lunch dates. I was about to say, I thought this one was supposed to be furry friend. Furry friend is like my fav my fav like the favorite of the class, so there's no furry friends here. Um, and then I needed to add one here so that I can put two more types here. I used to stamp my kids' um, agendas, but I don't do that anymore because I got lazy. So now I just put a smiley face on it. Makes life a lot easier. But this is so nice, just using one of these to be able to put my coupons in. I have um, to start getting ready for the end of the year, like QM folders and um, running records and things like that. So I'm gonna start putting all those things aside too. So I'll show you guys what I do with my running records so that I can just start assessing students. So I'll show you that in just a little bit. I hope you guys are having a really great week. Happy Monday to all of you oh and I got I got two new books too um I got one and actually it's at home right now but I think some of you have, may have seen it the book whisperer the book whisperer I'm pretty sure that's what it's called um which I'm gonna start reading very soon and then I also got this one which is the reading strategies book um I've seen quite a few people use this one and I thought it was really neat and just kind of flipping through it I really like how it's just laid out um it's very simple so I like how it gives you the levels here what type of whoops genre it fits for I don't know it's not going to focus what type of genres it fits for and then the skills that you're looking at but it's very nicely laid out so it tells you the strategy and 
I really like it. So I'm excited to use this one next year and I'm starting to read the book whisperer now and so I was wondering I'm not sure any of you would be up for it but um, I really like like reading professional books over the summer so like what's your thought on maybe doing a uh, like a book reading club where we could come on and I can review a book after I've read it and then you guys can leave comments or tell me what exactly that you've taken away from it so I don't know I would have to figure out the logistics of all of that good stuff but let me know if, in the comments if you're interested in doing something together like where we could all kind of chit chat about things over the summer and getting things you know getting our minds right getting our getting everything fresh and ready for next year which is exciting. I have like how many weeks? One, two, three. I have four good weeks left and then the last week is pretty much just putting up everything and you know having class parties and getting things taken home so it's crazy to think that I only have four weeks left of school and then I'm all done. That's so sad. It's this time of the year where I'm really gonna start like I enjoy them so much because they they do so much more and now they're gonna leave me that's really sad so I'm gonna start tackling some of this stuff because I haven't done anything since I've been here I've been talking on the phone with my cousin and I'll talk to you guys in just a minute okay so I have just um, taken out my running records and I wanted to show you guys what it looks like so I keep copies of the actual sheets that we use they look like this like that i keep copies of the actual sheets i make a ton of them at the beginning of the year inside of um folders and my folders are placed inside of here so i just pull them out and so i write the book name and then i write the level that it's at and then what i'll do is i will take that out i'll take out the book that goes with it um, because these come in a binder and we have to check these back in at the end of every year um, so I take the book out to go with it and it all stays inside of this folder and then what I'll do is I'll take out to see what um, grit, what level my students are on and then I will put their names for the next one up. So like these students are on level C so now I want to try to test them on a level D um, and so on and so forth. So um, when I am ready to start doing some I will have him come over here sit down do a level for me and then if he ends up moving up another level I'll cross his name off um and then but he'll be completely done so I'll keep trying him until that point because I keep all of the different levels here at my table so I keep them here and then I'll just call them up and cross them off as I finish up but this is pretty much how I do it do it it's nothing fancy to be honest um, but it just it helps my brain and lets it work so much better because I can call them up one at a time if he ends up going past the level D I can test him on the next level E um, and then I can cross his name off because I will fill him out on this on this sheet which gets turned in at the end of the um, year and then I will put it inside of his um, reading folder that gets turned in as well so all of his stuff will end up getting turned in here and then what I will do is I will just also make sure I go through and check to make sure this whole sheet is filled up. So once that's done I can rubber band them and then I'm done with him for the year. So that's kind of the idea. I think that makes sense. That's kind of the idea of how my brain works. I don't know. But it works easy for me because, I mean, it's right there on my table. I can just pull it out whenever um, I'm ready to try to assess one of the students and then move on. So hopefully I can try to get these done within a week since they're going to still be working on projects. Um, I'll be doing a lot of like individual group conferences with students. So it'll be a good time for me to just be able to do running records with them too. Because they're going to be so busy trying to finish up their their project that they're working on with their group. So um, I think it's a good week for that. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Um, I think I'm going to try to start cleaning up so I can get ready to go back home. Um, my husband and I are putting up a few things. We're trying to do a little bit of cleaning. So um, I think we're going to get a little storage unit and put some things away. Because we got too much stuff everywhere. And... Yep, I think that's what we're gonna do. 
they are pretty much open right now but my son is taking a nap which is why I'm here um husband plays video games I come to school Blaine takes a nap and the other one kind of does his own thing too he enjoys the alone time during this this quiet time so that's what I'm doing I have my assessments ready to go oh I want to show you guys something else so if you do individual conferences with students um, I saw I had my actually no my reading coach sent us this freebie um, and I'll leave a link down for it too but she had a ton of these like little these little um, goals for students um, and it's in behavior reading writing but I took baseball card holders and I made tons of copies and I stuck them inside of here so that when I'm sitting down and doing individual conferences we can just kind of flip through it and see what it is that the students what they want to have as their conference goal and then they glue it down on their little sheet so that's their their focus but I mean it's anything from I can work quiet quietly write my name um, counting comparing different things so it was really helpful but I liked the idea of putting it in here because it's so much is more easy to see it and organize it um, especially when I'm doing my conferences so definitely check that out this is completely free so it was really nice to have that and I just bought the baseball card holders from Walmart so yeah there's another little tidbit for you so I'm gonna finish cleaning up just a little bit here I have these ready ready for tomorrow that's really nice to have so yep um yeah that's pretty much what my day is gonna consist of or week is gonna consist of Alright guys, I think I'm heading out. I may talk to you guys a little bit later. I'm not really sure yet. I may wrap it up a little bit later. So, yep. I'm going to go home, get some other few things done. And yeah, I don't feel like this vlog is going to be very long. So, peace out. So, I am at home and I am editing my vlog to go up tomorrow. And realized that I do not end my vlog <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna end my vlog um, my husband and I we did go get our storage unit put a lot of things away which makes me feel so much better because I'm tired of seeing so many like just things that we just don't need and we just don't have the space for it right now so it's nice to be able to tuck that away so I'm not stressing out about that my hair is doing something weird um, how many of you have heard about catch so I feel like I feel like such a <laughs> late to the game person, <laughs> but I, since I was in PA, like I just wasn't attuned to anything that was happening so social media wise. Um, so my son's screaming, he's getting a bath right now. Um, so <laughs> I'm not giving him a bath. My husband's giving him a bath, <laughs> by the way. So, um, I didn't realize that Catch was shutting down, which is really, really sad, but um, I have just now archived, because I have my, my blog is linked to it, so, oh, oops, so I shut that down by accident. Okay, so when you go to, where's my blog? Maybe I don't have my blog up. So when you go to my blog here, so I have a Periscope right here. Um, it says check me out on Periscope and so when you click on it it went to my catch me page which would then catch all of the scopes that I've done um, on there <laughs> but now catch is ending so I have to figure out what to do exactly with all of my um, my videos because now I wanted to keep them in one place so that if you wanted to specifically look for that video you could go and find it um, and I have archived it here so now I have my videos so when it does shut down and all of this disappears I at least have my videos saved over here um, but yeah now I have to figure out what exactly do I do with this bad boy so yeah this will link to my YouTube this links to my teachers pay teachers um, and so if you haven't checked out my my blog here it is I'm not the best blog updater um, because it does take so much work and so does YouTube so I have still yet to be able to balance this because I haven't technically been on like the YouTube scene or 
the blogging scene for very long. Um, I've only been teaching four years, guys. Like, it's not very long. Um, and my first year was stressful. My second year was stressful because I got married my second year. I had a baby my second year. So, wait, did that right? Well, I think I had a baby. I know I had a baby for sure my second year. So that was stressful and I was out for half. Um, and then last year started kind of getting a little bit better, but I wasn't the best at like keeping up with it. Um, and this year's kind of been the first year where I've been pretty good about like YouTube and blog and, but I mean, so I'm not the best. I mean, there are other bloggers out there that are absolutely phenomenal and I'm just in awe by some of them. So. I'm gonna try to get better. I need to at least do one post a week on my blog. That's what I would like to do, but there's so many other things that I've been doing. Like I said, I've been working on a book with a friend, um, with uh, my reading coach. We're working on an organization book for you guys, and uh, I'm getting national board. There's just a lot of things that are happening right now, and I need a slow it I need it to slow down just a little bit but I guess life never really slows down does it um so yeah I think that's pretty much it I am gonna do a few more things before I have to go and put my little man to bed he's getting a bath by my husband right now so I'm gonna get a few more things done hopefully I'll get this vlog edited pretty early so that I can watch I can't remember I've been watching Vikings which is oh phenomenal and I was so mad at the last few episodes it was driving me crazy um uh, Game of Thrones comes back on tonight so I want to watch Game of Thrones with my husband which would be really nice so I'll talk to you guys later y'all have a phenomenal 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 week remember to smile stay positive I know it's stressful this time of year I know sometimes you know you just you have so many things that are being asked of you you have so many different things that you're doing and you know students kids at this time like I said it's like the end of that car ride where everybody's just driving everybody crazy and I know that can happen stay positive and just keep chugging on I mean I know it gets really hard but guys like, this is what we're here for. So make the best of it. And there's only a few more weeks left. I know for me, um, there's five more weeks left. I'm going to make the best of every single minute of it. Because then they're gone. And I can't rewind the clock and spend more time with them. So I'm going to love and enjoy every single minute of it. So stay positive. Smile. Um, I hope you guys have a really, really great week if you're watching this at the beginning of the week. And I will talk to you guys really, really soon. Bye. Today I am coming at you with a field trips tips and tricks guide. So I know at the very end of the year a lot of people are going on field trips. You're wanting to get that